students in this class we will be doing class 10 relations and functions that is the first chapter in matriculation syllabus or samachir kalvi syllabus already two exercises are completed that is based on relations topic now we will see about functions and do the exercise sums okay so functions so in this a relation f between two non empty sets x and y is called a function from x to y if for each x belongs to x there exists only one y belongs to y such that x comma y belongs to f okay so if you take any two sets if you take a set x and set y with few elements okay non empty sets so with few elements if you take that is called a function from x to y if for each x belongs to x that is for each element of x in the set for each element of x in the set x there exists only one y belongs to y that is when you are connecting um, elements of x and elements of y one only should be connected from x to y then only you will say that as a function such that x comma y belongs to function then only you will say that as function that is f is equal to x comma y for all x belongs to x and y belongs to y this is the this is called function okay if so function relation and cartesian products will come under circle like this that is function is the subset of relation okay function is the subset of relation and relation is the subset of the cartesian products okay then if f such that x belongs to y is a function when will you say that x belongs to y is a function then few conditions are there the set x is called the domain of the function f and the set y is called its codomain so domain is the first set and codomain is the second set if f of a is equal to b then b is called image of image of a under f if f of a is equal to b then b is called the image okay when two sets are there set of elements in x and set of elements in y when you are connecting set of elements that is if uh, one example i will show you after this b is called the image of a under f and a is called the pre image of b okay then f such that x belongs to y that is x x is related to y is a function only if every element in the domain of f has an image so every element in the domain that is the first set that is the domain has an image okay so the image is unique so the image will be unique for all the functions now few examples i will to, to i will tell you based on this domain codomain image pre image and range now we'll see about domain codomain range image and pre image of a function okay so if you say if you take a set a with elements a b c d and take a set b with elements 1 2 3 4 5 okay when will you say that uh, set A is uh, a function to set B? Every element in A, every element in A is related to some element in set B. So every element in set A is related to, so every element in set A is, uh, if every element in set A is related to each element in set B, then we will say that as a function. So, here A to B is a function. Okay. So, now we will see the domain of the function. What is the domain of the function? Domain of the function F is domain of function F is set of all elements in the set A is called the domain. So, A, B, C, D. So, this is called domain of the function F. Then, Codomain is, codomain of the function is, 
codomain of the function is set of all elements of the set B. So, what are the elements you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, all these elements are called codomain of the function F. Okay, then image. So, what is image? Image is A. Uh, 2 is the image of A. 3 is the image of B. 4 is the image of C. And 5 is the image of D. Okay, then pre-image. Pre-image is A is the pre-image of 2. B is the pre-image of 3. So, image means Whatever you are getting from the first element to the second element. That second element elements are called the image. So the first element how, how it is connected that is called pre-image. So for A image is 2. For B image is 3. For C image is 4. For D image is 5. And pre-image is opposite of this. For 2 pre-image is A. For 3, pre-image is B. For 4, pre-image is C. If this is the image, the other one will be the pre-image. Okay. Then range. So range will be in how the domain is connected with the function. Only those, uh, those elements of that particular set will be called as the range. So here, one is not connected with any element. From the set A. So the remaining elements 2, 3, 4, 5 are called the range of the given set. So this is the this is how you will get domain, codomain, range, image, and pre-image of a function. Based on these functions, we'll be doing the next exercise. And that is exercise 1.3. Okay. Let f is equal to x comma y such that x comma y belongs to n and y is equal to 2x. What is the meaning here? x comma y such that x comma y belongs to n. So both x value and y elements of x and elements of y belongs to natural numbers and y is equal to 2x. So you are asked to find the function of that is the relation of y is equal to 2x. With this, you are asked to find that is, it is given that it is a relation. Is this relation a function? So, this is a relation. You are asked to check that whether it is a function. Okay. Be a relation on n. So, this is a relation on 9. n is natural numbers. Find the domain, codomain and range. Okay. So, now here it is given f is equal to x comma y such that x comma y belongs to n and y is equal to 2x. This is the function given. You have to check y is equal to 2x. For this you have to check. In this the condition given is that is x comma y belongs to n and y is equal to 2x. So if you take x value as 1 then what will be your y value? y value will be 2 into 1, 2. Okay, so if you take x value as 2, y value will be 2 into 2, that is 4. If you take x value as 3, so these are all natural numbers you are taking. Okay, so y, when you are having this condition also, you will get that as natural numbers only. So y is equal to 2 into 3, that is 6. So x is equal to 4, y is equal to 2 into 4, that is 8. So x is equal to 5 y is equal to 2 into 5 that is 10. So it will be going on like this. Natural number less than or equal to greater than or equal to like that it is not given. It is given that x and y are natural numbers. So all the condition that is if you take this condition it will be natural numbers only. So for this condition so every element of x has an element of y in that with the given condition. So, this is a function. So, every element of x has a relation with the uh, with the next set y. That is if, if you have 1, this is a natural number and this is also a natural number. So, this relation is a function. So, we are asked to find domain, codomain and range. So, for that you will draw 
arrow diagram like this. So here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It will be going on like this. Then next one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It will be going on like this. Okay. So for 1, it is 2. Okay. Then for uh, 2, it is 4. And for 3, it is 6. So this is the function here. So for 4, it is 8. For 5, it is 10. So this is a function. So every element, each element of the first set has, um, an, uh, has an element in the next set B. Okay, so each element in the domain has a function is connected to every element in the, sorry, each element here domain has, is connected to one element in the codomain. Okay, so here this is a function. So how will you write it in order pass? So relation will be, the order pass how you will write? You will write it as 1 comma 2. 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 4, 3 comma 6, 4 comma 8, 5 comma 10. Like that it will be going on. Okay, so this is the relation. Then domain will be all the first elements will be the domain. So what are the first elements? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the, this is domain. Then co-domain will be, co-domain, co-domain will be all the elements in the next set. Then range will be how it is connected. What element is connected from the first set to the second set? Only those will be called as range. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So this is called the range. So we got domain, codomain and range. So each element in domain has an element in the code mind. So this is the function. So is this relation a function? So this is a function. Next sum is let x is equal to 3, 4, 6, 8. Determine whether the relation r is equal to x comma f of x such that x belongs to x. f of x is equal to x squared plus 1 is a function from x to n. This is the question given. So, in that it is given x is equal to 3, 4, 6, 8. Okay. Then f of x is given as x comma f of x such that x belongs to x. So, all the element of x belongs to this x. So, these are all the elements of x. And f of x is equal to x squared plus 1. So, r is given as x comma f of x, x comma f of x such that, such that x belongs to x and f of x is equal to x squared plus 1. So, we have to find this function. Okay. So, if x is equal to 3, then f of 3 is equal to 3 squared plus 1. So, this is 9 plus 1, 10. Okay, then if x is equal to 4, then f of 4 is equal to 4 squared plus 1. So, this is 16 plus 1, 17. Then x is equal to 6. If f x is equal to 6, f of 6 is equal to 6 squared plus 1. So, this is 36 plus 1, 37. Then x is equal to 8. If x is equal to 8, then f of 8 is equal to 8 squared plus 1. That is equal to 64 plus 1, 65. Okay. So, check whether the relation is a function from x to y. So, every element in the domain. So, this one you will get it as domain. We will write the relation in the order pass. So, r is equal to 3 comma 10. 4 comma 17, then 6 comma 37, 
then a comma 65 a comma 65 okay so determine whether the relation is a function so each element in the domain so first elements are called the domain each element in the domain has unique uh, elements in the codomain so one element is connected to only one element in the codomain so this relation is a function so determine whether the relation is a function from x to n so n is the natural number so this uh, given uh, relation is a function okay so so with this i'm completing today's class remaining sums i will do it in the next class so whatever doubts you have you message me in the comment box thank you